Now, as if you needed any reminding, it's a public holiday in much of the country today, King's birthday in Queensland. Shouldn't that be Kingsland now? But in New South Wales, the ACT and where I am today in South Australia, it's Labor Day. Now, this is a public holiday to celebrate the eight-hour day, which sounds kind of obsolete now, doesn't it? So many companies are still really struggling to get workers back into the office. Most workplaces where people can work from home only want people back two or three days a week, and yet they're struggling. And now bosses in the UK, where this is a problem as well, have declared that workers have actually become entitled and lazy after the pandemic. Now, this is pretty harsh stuff. It's a clue to a serious issue, but it's a pretty harsh way to put it. And it's a reminder of Tim Gurner, the Melbourne property developer, who said this last month. People decided they didn't really want to work so much anymore through COVID, and that has had a massive issue on productivity. You know, tradies have definitely pulled back on productivity. You know, they, they have been paid, paid a lot to do not too much in the last few years, and we need to see that change. We need to see unemployment rise. Unemployment has to jump 40 50%, in my view. We need to see pain in the economy. We need to remind people that they work for the employer, not the other way around. Now, unsurprisingly, he had to apologise for that, wishing unemployment upon the nation. But I think something has to give here. Employers want workers back in the office. Too many workers don't want to turn up. Sadly, the federal government has given a poor lead, agreeing that there should be a permanent bias towards letting public servants work from home. Look, you only need to go to the beach on a Monday or Friday or check the local golf course on those days to see that lots of people are having a lend. Flexibility is here to stay, sure, and that is a very good thing. But for all sorts of reasons, including better mental health and support, getting life back into our cities and helping the small businesses that operate in them, well, we need to be back at the office. Anyway, as soon as major companies do need to trim their staff numbers, as soon as the labour market does loosen up a bit, I wouldn't want to be one of those workers hanging at home. I'd be looking at turning up and making sure everyone knows how productive I am.